right, everybody. Let's check the Ventec AHD kit that we bought from Amazon. Basically, we got the four cameras, the DVR, which is at the bottom, and we got the cables for this kit. As you may notice, every camera is an AHD one. At this point, we got everything out of the box. Let's start talking about the first item, which is the DVR. This is an AHD DVR. You can control this DVR to the panel here at the front. But we always recommend you to do it through the main screen by using the mouse. Here, at the back of your DVR, you got eight video input or eight different channels or eight different cameras. These cameras could be AHD or HD cameras. In this case, we're gonna use only this four because we got only four cameras included in this kit. DVR has four audio input and one audio output. This one is the VGA output. This one is the HDMI output. And we included the cable for this one. You got two USB ports, one for the mouse and one for the pen drive. This one over here is the Ethernet port. And down here, you can see the green one, which is the RS-485 for the data of your PTZ camera. And this is the connector for the power adapter. Okay, this is basically what we need to know about the DVR. The CVR, as I mentioned before, supports AHD and analog cameras at the same time. It supports up to two MP AHD cameras, and you can also connect IP cameras to this DVR by changing the configuration and the main menu through the digital option. However, you can watch our videos on YouTube regarding to the configuration of your DVR when you got different type of cameras connected at the same time to the same equipment. Let's move on and check what we got inside of this DVR. This is a WD Purple hard disk. It's especially made for surveillance equipment and it avoids frozen images and it can record 24-7. You can find this kind of hard disk in the best surveillance equipment and they are pre-installed in our Pentec kit. Remember, we always ensure the video quality of our product. Let's put it back in the table to close the EVR and move on with the rest of the items received inside this kit it here. Let's continue talking about the mouse which allows you to surf on DVR's menu. It's the best way to do it instead of using the remote control. However, this is also included. This is the power adapter of your DVR. This is the 16 gigabytes pen drive which allows you to save your pictures, your videos, your snapshot, whatever you want. And the most important thing, it includes the manuals about how to set, uh, how to configure your DVR functions. Okay, just keep in mind, only Ventec put this kind of item inside your kit. Now let's start talking about the cameras included in our kit. This type of camera could be from one MP, up to 2 megapixel. There is also one which is 1.3 megapixel. It depends on the kit that you bought from us on Amazon. The AHD cameras go from 720p, 960p, and 1080p. As you may see this one over here. It's a metallic dome camera. It has the LEDs here. It can work outside or inside, indoor or outdoor. This cable is just plug and play. It has the BNC connector here. All right, you just need to plug it and twist it. And this one is the 
power connector. This camera has a 3.6 millimeters lens, which is quite enough for a wide angle vision. It is also the best lens in the market for this type of camera, 3.6. All right, let's put this back and let's talk about the bullet camera. This camera is used normally as an outdoor camera. It has a joint over here that you can modify. You can move it anywhere. Okay, it's pretty easy to install. We also include the keys to fix this camera to your wall. Moving on, here you have the basic manual for your camera the sticker that you can place outside of your business or house and here you have the RAM plugs, the screw and the hex key okay we got everything here to mount our cameras before continuing let's talk about the cameras that I'm using for this video these cameras over here are 1.3 megapixels they are 960 P and remember that they can vary depending on the kit that you bought from us on Amazon. The video quality of these cameras is higher than any other analog camera. However, you can connect them together, but keep in mind before you do that, get in touch with our tech support for better assistance. This is the extension cord that we are going to use to connect our cameras to our DVR. It has video cable right here and this one is power. This is the end that goes to the camera and this other end over here goes to the DVR with the female connector. Remember this cable is a hundred feet and that is something that makes us different from the other companies which offer you only 60 feet cable. Okay, this one could be placed for years and you don't need to change your cable anytime you change your camera. So you only need to replace your cameras and leave the cable placed. The next item is the power adapter for your cameras. This one supports from 100 to 240 feet. Okay, input and the output is 12 feet. 5 amps. This is quite enough to feed all the cameras, the four cameras that we have in this kit. Because if you compare this one with the regular ones, the one that we included is 5 amps and the other ones normally are 2 amps. This is better at night when cameras turn on their LED. So it will work perfect with all your cameras. This one includes the cable to fit the power adapter and this other one is a splitter to buy the power for the cameras that you got connected. Okay, so let's put this one back. Let's talk about the HDMI cable and Ethernet cable included in this kit. This one, the first one is the Ethernet cable it's 6.5 feet and this one over here is the HDMI cable as you may notice it's a professional one only Ventec can put this type of cable in your kit here you have the manual for the installation of your equipment and if you go to the back of this manual you will find the YouTube channel Ventec videos this channel includes all the videos regarding to our equipment, how to install them. These videos will be also included in your pen drive, so whatever you need to set, please watch the videos in your pen drive. Let's move on and uh, let me explain how to install your cameras. This end is the one which goes to the camera, the male power connector and this one is the BNC connector just plug in and twist it okay one really important thing 
before you install your cable or place your cable make sure that the male connector goes to the camera and the female which is at the other end of your cable goes to the DVR or to the power supply okay that's what I'm doing right now and the BNC video connector goes to the DVR just plug in and twist it okay please do the same with the rest of your cameras remember the splitter has four male connectors now we have all the cameras connected this end is the one connected to the DVR and the females are connected to the splitter here you have the cameras the two bullets and two dumps and let's plug the power adapter now we have video and power already connected okay let's move on and see how to connect your DVR to the TV here you got everything this is the last step please connect the HDMI cable first right behind the DVR then the mouse the surf on your menu here you have the Ethernet cable please connect it to the right port and connect the other end of your Ethernet cable to the router okay finally plug the DVR by using the power adapter once you connect the power adapter you will hear a beep sound it is completely normal please don't get scared and as soon as you get the Ventec logo you can start setting your DVR configuration first time this quick guide will be displayed on the main screen the first two QR codes from left to right are used to find the MVZIP either from iPhone or Android however I recommend you to download the app by using Play Store or App Store because some phones do not recognize the code. The last code on your right is the QR code used to get the ID of the DVR. It could be scanned from the NBC app by using your phone to add the DVR. Otherwise, you may add this equipment to your NBC app manually by getting the ID from the if info icon on the menu. Click on next. Okay, here we have time and date configuration at this point you can modify the different options listed on this menu for example language I'm gonna select English and format day we select month day and year okay the other option we can modify from this menu is of course date and time however these two can be synchronized with networks time automatically last option you can modify from this menu is the time zone it depends on where you are located ours is minus five but let's check on the map you can notice every location has its own time zone here at your right is UTC minus five next one is UTC minus six the other one is UTC minus 7 and so on. If you don't mind, you can also Google it. For instance, let's try by introducing Dallas time zone in your browser. Okay, there it is. Dallas is minus 6. What about Portland time zone? here and this one is minus 8 finally our area which is Orlando time zone and this is the one I'm gonna use for this video okay let's move back to the setup wizard and after setting all in this window please click on next here at the bottom moving on the setup wizard 
Here you can configure the different users on this DVR and its own passwords to ensure the right access to this equipment. I will explain this to you later. I will leave it by default right now and click on next. Okay, here you can modify network settings. It is important to please check the automatic BHCP option. This option will allow our DVR to automatically get an IP address from the router we are using. Please always select this option, otherwise you may have problem with your internet connection. Please press next. Here you have the video resolution of each channel. Please do not modify this option. Next. At this point, you can select between recording your videos in your pen drive or in your hard disk. For this video, I'm using a 1TB hard disk. Let's format this hard disk by clicking here on format. Okay. And this process will take a few minutes. It doesn't matter if you are using a brand new hard disk or you got a brand new DVR which includes hard disk. Please always format the hard disk. After you have finished, the status here should be normal. Let's wait a few seconds more. Now it's done, press OK and we can start recording all our videos. In fact, DVR will start recording automatically, however, playback and record setting will be explained later. By doing right click on the main screen, we can access to the main menu. Please select System Setup. The first sub-menu is General. This first option allows you to modify the time and date. Please select the Auto Synchronize box to get time from your local network. It will be always synchronized. Here at time zone, we have selected minus five, which corresponds to our local time. And please check this box at the bottom to allow any time zone changes during the year. Please click on apply and then OK. Let's go back to this menu. This user option allows you to modify the current username and password. The username is admin and password is blank by default. I recommend you to create a new username by clicking on add. The username and password are up to you. Boxes below show the permission for this new user. Remember, if you change the main user and its password, the process to recover this information is really difficult because of the security protocols. In case you decide to change them, please save it well to avoid further inconvenience. After you have done this, please press OK and go back to the main menu one more time. At Network, we can verify the network status. Click on Setting and once you are here, the most important thing is the status should display online. That's why you must have the automatic EHCP option check. Okay, please. Click OK. Next thing I'm gonna show you is how to get the DVR ID manually. Here at System Setup, please select the information icon. It shows you the device ID, which is the factory ID of your DVR. This ID could be used to add this DVR to your NVC app in your phone or to add this DVR to your CMS program in your PC. The main screen, one more time, let's explore other options from the pop-up menu. Here is the layout which allows you to divide your screen. Let's display channel number three or we can select between different views like four, eight or nine. Video adjust option allows you to modify any of these options on your cameras individually. Please select the channel first and then 
adjust any of these options below, like video likeness, contrast, etc. until everything is set correctly. However, here at the bottom are different options you can choose depending on where the camera is installed. We normally use a standard and don't forget to save your changes. This is really important to do. Once again, please go back to the main screen and let's check the pop-up menu. This PTC option allows you to control your PTC cameras and by selecting a snapshot you can take pictures of the cameras displayed. Look at the camera sign after I've selected the option. Going back to the four channels view, I take pictures of channel 2 here. Okay. And one more picture of channel 4. This is really easy to do. Here at photo option, you can save your photos by selecting backup here and you can also save your pictures in a pen drive. Back to the pop-up menu, the playback option and the record setting will be explained in the next video. Well, I hope you have enjoyed our video and one more time, thanks for doing business with Ben Tech. Don't forget to watch the rest of our videos in case you need more assistance or information. And please check our products on Amazon. Have a nice day. What you think really matters for me and my team. Please take a few seconds to leave us a product review. Go to Amazon, then sign in. your username and password once you get here go to your orders then find the item that you bought from us and please select write a product review on the right side of your product it means a lot for me please do click select the number of stars you can see there this product deserves write down the product review then introduce a title for this awesome product review and finally click on submit as you may notice it doesn't take longer than one minute and it really helped me out to improve our customer service have a great day